Hi there. Today we're going to look at how to make a Google Slides presentation interactive. I'm going to focus on two application examples. One would be if you were creating a choose your own adventure type story or if you wanted to make an interactive quiz or review. So to start off with, you want to create all your slides. So in here, I have a couple of slides for the Choose Your Own Adventure example, and I have a few slides as an example of a quiz or review. So we'll start with the Choose Your Own Adventure. In your Choose Your Own Adventure books, what happens is during the story, at a pivotal moment, it'll offer the reader different choices. And depending on their choice, they go to the page that corresponds with that choice and the endings are different depending on the choices they make throughout the story. So in this story, you wake up in your tent to a rustling noise and there's, you unzip the door and peek outside. A large bear is rummaging through your cooler of food. What do you want to do? So the options I provided were zip up the tent and stay very quiet or run out and try to scare it away. So now I have two slides for those choices. What I need to do is link these choices to the appropriate slides. To do that, I am going to highlight choice one, zip up the tent and stay very quiet. And I'm going to go to insert link. Now I'm going to link this to the slide I already created in this presentation. The slide that has that corresponds with this is slide three. So I'm going to come down here where it says slide one, slide two. It gives you a little synopsis. And I'm going to go to slide three. I'll click apply. I then am going to link my second choice. Run out and try to scare it away. The corresponding slide for this is slide four. So I'm going to go up again, insert link slides in this presentation and I'm going to go down to slide four. Click apply and there we go. I can now test it out. So what do I want to do? I think I'm going to zip up the tent and stay very quiet. So here's the option for that. Although I'm safe, all my food is gone. However, if I had picked the other choice, run out and try to scare it away, it would have taken me to this slide. Luckily, the bear went away and I still have some food. So that's an example of a way you can make an interactive slideshow for a choose your own adventure story. The arrows I inserted would take you to the next page or the next slide in the story. If you were to use it for a review or a quiz or a game show, you would go through and you would again create your slides with the questions and then link the answer choices to the appropriate slides. So what do sea otters do when they sleep? They make a whistling noise, blow bubbles, hold hands, or they don't sleep. So I'm going to, again, link these to the appropriate slide. Highlight, insert link, slides in this presentation, and they do not make whistling noises when they sleep. So, well, at least I don't know if they do. I don't think they do. <laughs> so the, the slide that is the incorrect response is going to be slide seven. So I'm going to apply and I'm going to put all of these actually linked to slide seven because they are, three of them are incorrect. So link. Slide seven. Apply. And they hold hands is actually the correct answer. I'm going to insert link and the correct answer is slide six.
apply. They don't sleep is incorrect. So insert link. And again, that will be slide seven. There we go. Apply. And then I'm going to present. So what do sea otters do when they sleep? They blow bubbles in the water. Ooh, sorry. However, here's a hint. And I can put another link in to go back to the question for them to try again. However, I have to link it. So you do the exact same thing. You highlight the image or the word or the text box. You go to insert. You go to link. And the question was on slide five. So I will scroll down here. Slide five. And apply. So now they can go back and try that question again. So do they hold hands? Yes, they do. They don't want to drift away. And then I would have a link to the next question. I really like this format because you can give feedback for the incorrect answers. Or you could link them to more information or to a website that would show them more examples of whatever the topic is. So it's a great way to give feedback and a fun, interactive way to see if the students are getting the information they need to. I hope this was helpful. Have a good one.